Hey YouTube, look at that. Tis the time to put the engine back in. I'm just putting the last few bits on it. And more fucking problems. This is the top of the motor mount on the left hand side. This is the motor mounts I got. See the pin location there? That pin? I got two right hand side motor mounts so that is fucking stupid i'm ready to put it in but i ain't waiting on another mount i'm just gonna cut that fucking guy off and it's going in there whether it likes it or not there she is i'd like to say it was easy putting it back in it wasn't it was a pain in the ass i, I couldn't get it to go back in with the mount the motor mounts on i ended up having to pull this side off just so that it would sit in there correctly. Um, I, I think I didn't have all that problem taking it out because all the motor mounts broke. So it, made, it, gave, it gave me the room I needed. I had to set it in there with the motor mount off, jack it up, then slide the mount in. It, it took a little while. It was kind of a pain in the ass. But anyway, she's in. I got the exhaust hooked up already. So the exhaust hooked up, it... It really makes it a lot more stable without a transmission on it. And now it's just plugging shit back in. Okay, everything's bolted in, hooked up, as far as I can go for now. No, uh, nothing, nothing to report here. Just fucking slid everything back together. Gone as far as I can. I have a whole seal kit for that power steering pump. So, I can't throw the belt on and all that other shit until I get that pump in. And I got a clutch. There's the pressure plate and, I don't know, clutches around here somewhere. Let me pick you up in the air. Fuck, man. Okay, YouTube, back under here. And hey, look at this. I can do gay jazz hands now. I got a tripod, and now I'm I'm usually the only tripod in the garage, so this is going to take some getting used to. I'll try it out. Uh, I'm usually not that serious with my shit. I'm just some guy stomping around his garage cursing a lot holding the camera, so I'll try it out. But anyway, hey, I got the clutch, new pilot bearing, new rear main seal. Um, Little RTV in the corners from the oil pan gasket. She's ready for the flywheel clutch, transmission. Now the thing is, this is the second time putting this fucking flywheel on. Because with your furs, woo! Fuck. This fucking bullshit, guys. Broke my tripod already. So, Dropped the right. fucking pressure plate on it. That's well, bullshit. Right. First time out the gate. Right, so Garbage. Now this is the second time me putting this flywheel on. Because with your furds, you got this stupid fucking engine plate, transmission spacer, whatever you want to call it. Don't forget that shit. Another thing is, this is a flywheel, not to be confused with the flex plate. Flex plates are for automatics, and they are much, much lighter than a flywheel. Also, the pattern here looks pretty universal, but it ain't. It only goes on one way for engine balancing. So you got to keep turning it until all the bolt holes line up. Just like that. Ah. All right. She ain't going nowhere now. 
The flex plate, I'm sorry, the flywheel was 80 foot pounds. These are getting 35. And no, I did not have the flywheel turned. I think it'll be just fine. I'm willing to take a chance on it. I think it'll be okie dokie. So, both the down torqued. I'll bring it back when transmission's ready. Okay, YouTube. Let's do something about this transmission here. I got a glove over the hole. I got a glove over the tail shaft. I got the hydraulic throwout bearing unbolted. And I still got some oven cleaner left from that engine. So let me soak this thing down and blast this bitch. This thing is filthy. All right, there she is. That's as clean as it's going to get. It's okay. Focus. There you go. It's okay. It's a lot better than it was. I didn't get the bottom side of it because I wasn't trying to wrestle with it too much on this fucking transmission jack by myself and have it do something stupid like fall off. Yep. A lot better than she was. Ain't perfect, but it'll work for me. Alrighty. It's as ready as it's gonna get. Transmission. Meet Clutch. You guys are gonna be friends. She's got a new starter. AEC Delco. I gotta put that starter in yet. Hey, you. Put that starter in yet and hook up all this shit and bleed the clutch. Uh, let me look up a procedure on this because I have never bled the clutch. Hopefully, it does not require two people because I'm by myself. Alright, let's try the drip bleed method first because, you know, I'm by myself. I got to set really, really small just to trickle because the reservoir in that clutch master is really really small I don't want to run it out of fluid while I'm doing other shit okay YouTube while that clutch is dripping I gotta mess with this fucking drum I pulled the drums off to see if the the wheel cylinders were leaking before I bled the regular brakes because the backing plates I don't know if you can see it but they're a little wet so they're not leaking, so it's just axle seals that are leaking. But anyway, uh, I got a lot of other shit to do to this axle. So, you know, I'm just trying to get the fucking drum back on and the fucking brakes bled so I can get it the fuck out of here because I got other shit to do. But I cannot get the drum on. And the star adjusters all the way in, those don't look too extended out. So I don't know why the drum won't go on. It's either that thing's stuck or the parking brake is stuck, and I really can't tell which. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't know. So I'm just trying to get the drum on. I'm thinking. I, I'm thinking that. Uh, I'm thinking the wheel cylinder's stuck out because you see how that spring is slightly extended. And this one really isn't. This one's out a little more. So I'm thinking it's the top that's fucking me. But this this drum, see all them hot spots in it? It's got this big, big, big fucking groove on it. This drum is about shot. So I'm just taking my grinder, going around getting that fucking, getting that lip off. Because when I got, when I get back into this axle, it, uh... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to get the fucking drum on. It's pretty much what I'm telling you. There you go. Take that little lip off and she slides right on. But just because it's on doesn't mean there isn't something wrong. Because that little lip forms as the metal inside here gets thinner and thinner from the shoes wearing. So that lip is about the size it should be new. So if I were to buy a new drum, that, that tells me I wouldn't be able to get a new one on here. Um, you know, there's a little little wiggle room in there because of rust build up around that ring. But I, I still think something's up in there. But whatever, she'll ride for now. 
Yeah, and she's gonna ride on three uh, three lug nuts. I may or may not have fucked up two of them, hitting the drum with a hammer, trying to get the rusty piece of shit off. Oops. All right, YouTube. Let's do this shifter. Now, something you may remember is how greasy the transmission was. And when I was pulling everything apart, I I noticed this. I had the gasket right there for that. But what seals that ball to that? Nothing. There's supposed to be something there, and there never was. So all that, see how gritty that shit is? All that shit's been getting in the transmission. All that fluid's been coming out. Which is probably, which is why it was covered in shit, because there's supposed to be a seal there. Which is also interesting, knowing that I know that now, because the last transmission um, blew up because ah, it ran out of fluid. I wonder if that's also why it ran out of fluid. Back in the day when we put that transmission in, that's a used transmission, by the way. Back in the day when we put that transmission in, um, I had a lot less experience. I didn't notice that that fucking boot was gone. I noticed it this time. Now, I spent some time trying to get this fucking stud out so I can get this shaft by itself. And I had to look it up because I didn't know how. Apparently, what you do... Apparently, what you do is you thread it on the short end here. And you tighten. When you tighten, it'll pull that thing through and it'll pop out. Hey, look at that. Like a charm. Bolts out. Yeah, let's look at the rebuild kit. It's a Derman. There's something of interest, YouTube. These bushings here that sit like this, they weren't on here before. I didn't pull any of these off, any old ones, so I wonder if they just disintegrated to shit. What the fucking story with that is. Uh, that's interesting. Maybe this thing does shift like shit. And we just got so used to it we didn't know. This. Interesting. 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 Okay, YouTube. Let's get this shifter in here. Now. This here bushing. Now that there... That their bushing is supposed to go down in there. I didn't have to take one out. Where the original one is um, beats the fucking shit out of me. The instructions say press out those two pins. And uh, I don't know how the fuck to get them out. I I'm sure there's a video on it, but I ain't bothering with that shit. You can... That's what it, these little... See those little notches there? Th that goes... We're under the pins. That little guy is like a... That little guy is like a, a rubber type shit. So, hold on, let me pop it in there. There you go. The little effort. She pops right in place. So, you know, the thing just drops in there, bolts in. Let me get the shifter in here. And try to start this turd up. Alright, shifter's in. Something, something worth noting is the... Dorman rebuild kit comes with these Phillips head screws. I, I just I don't like Phillips head screws. The original ones got this Torx. Torx, fuck you. The original ones got this Torx screws, and I, I just think those are going to be a lot less likely to get stripped out. You know, if this thing's in here another twenty years or whatever the fuck it is, and they get stuck, uh, I I just I just don't like the Phillips. So I used the original hardware, and here's that shifter bolt, this funny looking bolt that I was struggling to get out, and I never showed you guys what it looks like, but that's what it looks like. 
All right, YouTube, shifters in. Uh, yeah, let's try to start this piece of shit. Look at this key. I thought this was kind of neat. Look how war that piece of shit is. I, I thought that's pretty cool. Nice, nice weathered key. She's been around a while. All right, clutch in, shifter, neutral. Prime the fuel system a couple times. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now remember, I just got the distributor stabbed in there, so it's not timed. So I, you know, I don't know, I don't know how close I am. Woo! Well, look at that. Oh. See if I can let my foot off the clutch pedal. I'm in neutral. Oil pressure. Now, I don't have a belt on this thing either. Or a radiator. So. Boop. That's off. Man, I'm, I'm real pleased. I am close to that timing. But... All right, so I got shit to do. My Explorer needs a lot of service. I got another car to flip, and there's still a lot of shit that has to happen to this truck. So my main goal today was to get it started so I can get it the fuck out of my garage. It's going to sit outside for about a week while I'm doing other shit. The owner knows this. They know it's a big project, and flipping cars is, you know, sometimes they take a little while to sell. So while I got a car for sale, when I got nothing to do, that's what I'm doing long-term projects like this. So this truck's going to get the fuck out of here. And next week, uh, it, it more than likely won't be another truck video. It'll be a video on whatever, you know, something else. All right? So, man, this is good progress. Uh, man, that sounded good when that thing was running. All right? Thanks for watching, YouTube. Peace.